There has always been a time where you've wanted to sound like somebody else, but when we actually go out and look for a voice changer, we always run into two major problems. You would either be stuck with a handful of mediocre voices, or you have to pay a subscription fee to use the voices you actually want. So to get revenge and all those companies are squeezing money out of you for something that should be free, I'm creating this video to show you how to create your own voice changer where you can use whatever voice you want forever long as you want completely for free. And here's the thing, I've actually been using this voice changer this entire time. This is actually what I sound like. But anyways, let me first break down everything we would need to make this happen. First off, we'll head over to VC Client and look for the link Hugging Face that can be found when you scroll down halfway down underneath the title Real Time Voice Changer. I'll help you pick out the right version for your computer will also explain the other options and once everything is downloaded we'll get everything organized and start up the voice changer finally i'll show you how to add voices adjust your settings get everything working for gaming chat or to use it for whatever else you want to use it for i promise it's a lot more easier than it sounds i'll be showing you every single click i do from start to finish guiding you step by step to success so with that being said let's get everything started what will you do if i am infected cure me First off, we'll head over to VC Client and look for the link Hugging Face that can be found when you scroll down halfway down underneath the title Real Time Voice Changer. Click on it and you will see a list of different versions that might look confusing at first, but it's actually pretty simple. MMVC Server SIO is the folder where the voice changer files are being held. Win or Mac will be the operating system for your device. On GPU or on direct just means where the processing of your voice changer will be taking place, which for me will be my GPU. If this sounds confusing, just copy my steps and if the voice changer doesn't load up, just delete the files and install it as a on direct. And lastly, these numbers at the end are just different versions that are consistently being updated with timestamps at the end. So for this video, I'm going to be using this one, v.1.5.3.18a and download it onto my computer. It's a little over three gigabytes, so give it a minute to download and once complete, place it in a spot that's easy to get to in your files. I'm using WinRAR as my zip software here, but don't worry if yours look a little bit different. Maybe you're using 7-zip or just regular downloads. Just create a new folder called Voice Changer and drag the downloaded file into it. Next, we will go to the zip file, right click, yours should look like this, and click on extract all. If a menu pops up, click on extract, and now the voice model file should be in this MMC server folder. Once we enter the voice changer folder, we will make two more folders, with one being called cable, made for connecting to games and programs, and another folder called voices, where you will add voices that you would want to use for your voice changer. Now to start up the voice changer, we will click on the folder MMC server. If another folder pops up, click on that one as well and go and find where it says start underscore HTTP. You can make your life easier by going to the search button, type in start and scroll down, but please do not click on start underscore HTTPS. That will mess things up and you might even have to start over. It is okay if there's maybe a EXE or a BAT on the side, but again, do not click on start underscore HTTPS. We only want the one without the Yes. When you click start underscore HTTP, a black screen with a blinking line will appear which is your command prompt and it will download the voice changer files onto your computer. This will only happen the first time because once everything is downloaded, it doesn't need to re-download everything again, it will just go straight to the voice changer. Once everything is downloaded, the voice changer should appear and I want to say congratulations, the hard part is over. And now I'm quickly going to go over some settings, how to add some voices and how to connect everything so you can be good to go. So at the top, there's a panel with different voice voices to choose from which are properly called voice models. I think the auto ones that come with the voice changer are all pretty trash but just click on one for learning purposes and after a couple of seconds it should load up. Once it loads up a larger image will appear on your top left with settings on the right but before we speak we need to attach a few things and adjust a few settings. The settings I'm about to give to you are basically going to improve the quality of sound coming from your voice model output. So for sub 1 and sub 2, have that both checked. For FODET, have it on RMVPE underscore ONNX and leave threshold set as default. Now come down to audio. For input, put the microphone you'll be speaking out of. For me, it is Ferg Mic. For output, it will be the output of audio for games and chats. Leave on none for now. For monitor, it will be the output of audio directly coming from your computer into your speaker headphones. I'm using headphones, so for me, I'll put Ferg Mic. I like to leave gain on one, but you don't have to. Below start and stop is where you record audio with the voice changer. 
Now come over to Chunk. Chunk basically means how quick the processing of the playback will be from your real voice onto the voice model output. Of course we want our playback to be as quick as possible so there's no major delay to whoever we're talking to so setting this number low will be ideal but we don't want this to be too low to where it messes up the sound quality. I have found that keeping it around 32 to 64 is a good range to be around to maintain good quality and good playback speed but of course feel free to increase or decrease this number. Next up is extra. Have this all the way up because this is what makes your voice model sound a lot more real and clean. The only reason you should lower this is maybe when you're recording something because the higher the number the bigger the audio files are going to be. For GPU settings I like to leave it as is that's just the processing of your voice changer onto your computer. I'm going to skip over server IO analyzer since most of you won't need it. It's kind of like a different recording mode but if you do want to record everything it's super simple just go to the other side and tap on record. Once you will click on the start button for record and you're done speaking click on stop a file will pop up and you will have a recording WAV file of the audio. Last settings adjustments I'm going to go over are advanced settings. I'm going to go over it very quickly because there's not really much you need to change. It's really just for the best quality that I personally use. Have protocol set to SIO. Have crossfade at 4096. Leave start and end as they are. Transcrate put it at 300 or leave it at 300 if it's already set there. Silent front on. Protect doesn't do anything but if you want to feel protected put that all the way up. RVC quality have that on low. You can change it to high but I suggest low. Skip past back confirmation keep as no and now click close. I know I just threw a ton of settings at you but trust me having a high quality voice changer is worth getting the details right the first time. I've spent tons of time experimenting with different settings to find the perfect balance and I've found that these work best for me but definitely feel free to change it up if you would like. Everything from here on out will be completely your preference. I'm just going to show you how to add voices and adjust the pitch to get exactly the sound you're looking for while also showing you how to connect everything. Since everyone's voice is a little different there's really no perfect setting it's all really about finding what best works for you. When you're using this voice model you have three simple options. Start which kicks everything into gear give it a quick second to load and you'll hear your voice transform into the voice model you have chosen. Pass through is basically your normal voice it turns off the voice model effect and you'll hear your normal voice when you speak. And stop is exactly what it sounds like it will shut down the voice changer completely and you'll hear silence when you speak. Each voice model comes with its own custom gain settings. I usually leave this as is, but if you want to adjust it, you definitely can. Tune is actually where I do most of my adjustments, and most of the time it will start off at zero. Depending on your natural voice, you will want to adjust it higher or lower until it matches the voice model or voice you're trying to sound like. Index doesn't really do much, so I normally leave this setting alone. Voice target is supposed to save your settings for different voice models, but honestly, I couldn't get this feature to work. My simple solution is just taking out my notepad and writing down the settings I have input for that specific voice model. I know it's not the best solution but maybe if you mess around with it a little bit you'll figure out how to use this feature correctly. But now I'm going to show you how to add voice models and it's actually very easy. You want to go and click on edit and you will see a menu that pops up with all the different voice models with also blank spaces. The blank spaces is where we'll be importing and uploading voice models. To find voice models you can really get them anywhere but to make your life easier there's a website called Easy Voice AI that has over a hundred thousand of voice models to choose from. I have put the link in the description for you. Once you get there, just hit the search bar and type in whoever voice you want. You can search for specific people or if you can't remember their names, just type in their show or movie that they are from. Let me show you an example of typing in Spongebob. See how a bunch of different Spongebob voices pop up along with other characters from the show? This is super useful because all you have to do is go across and click the blue download link. But to save time from downloading a voice that might not sound right, there are likes from people who have downloaded these voices before you and of course the more likes means the better the voice model is compared to others. Let me show you an example with Mr. Krabs. When I search for him I see two voices that each have two likes. I'll click on one and just say heads up don't worry if it takes you to a different website that's fine just look for the download button and click it. Usually it's even easier than this when I click on the other Mr. Krabs voice it downloads directly from Easy Voice AI without taking you anywhere else. Anyways once it downloads remember I am using Renoir so the zip file might look a little different from you yours and I will provide WinRAR link in bio but drag the downloaded voice model file into the voices folder. Next we will go to the zip file, right click, yours should look like this and click on extract all. If a menu pops up click on extract and now the voice model file should be in this MMC server.
server folder. If you still have the zip file, you can now delete it and only pay attention to the voice model which should be located in our voices folder for a voice changer. When you click on the downloaded voice changer, two important files should pop up. It doesn't really matter what they say, what is important is the ending of the file name. One is PTH short for PAT and the other is INDEX. We'll be importing these files into voice changer blank spaces. So now let's head back to the voice changer and click edit. Find one of those blank spaces and hit upload. You'll see something asking about voice changer type. Just leave it on RVC unless your voice specifically tells you to change it and scroll down to where it says model select file and click on that. Navigate to your voices folder and click on the voice model file. For me, it's Mr. Krabs. Once clicked, you'll see those two files we extracted. For the model, always pick the PTH file. If you accidentally click on the index file, don't worry, it'll give you an error message and it'll stop you from making that mistake. Once you have the path file put in place, not all voices have the index file, so you'd be good to go from here. But since I do have the index file, I'm going to click index select files, go to voices folder, click on the voice model folder again, and click the second file ending with index. Once everything is set up correctly, go down and click upload in a few seconds the file should upload on your voice changer now if you're someone who is planning on using a lot of voices you have an option for a custom thumbnail i went ahead and downloaded a random picture of mr krabs so when i go back to the home menu i know exactly which one is mr krabs instead of there being a blank space with me guessing now when i go to find the voice of mr krabs i see the thumbnail click on it i will click start and now in a few seconds i'll start to sound like mr krabs and there it goes i have successfully imported mr krabs voice Model. Now, obviously, I don't sound exactly like Mr. Krabs. I need to play around with the tuning a little bit, but I do want to go ahead and move on to show you how to connect this voice changer to different programs since now you know how to add voices. I'll be using Discord as my example. Before we head over to Discord, we will need to first install VB Audio software. I will leave the link in bio. Once it downloads, drag it to our voice model folder and then into our cable folder. Once here, right click and click extract all. I'm going to back up real quick so you can see everything is organized. The voices folder is for the voice models files. The voice changer folder is for the actual voice changer files and the cable will be for the cable connection files. Now I'm gonna go into the cable connection files. I'm going to click on cable dry pack folder and in these files, I'm going to look up for VB cable underscore driver underscore setup 64. Once you have double click, some of you might have a pop-up that will ask you yes or no. Click on yes and a small menu will ask you to install the driver. Double click on that button. Once finished, a small pop-up will show show installation complete and reboot your system. Now all of you will have to do this and I will show you how to check if it is activated. It might be different if you're on a Mac, but if you're on Windows like I am, go to your search bar and type in control panel. Switch to large icons and then click on sound. A little menu should pop up and it will show all your audio devices. Scroll down until you see VB virtual audio and it should say ready underneath. If you click over to the recording tab, you should also see a little check mark, which means that you're ready to go. To start up the voice changer, if you rebooted your system, you will go to files, click on the voice changer folder, click on the MMVC server and go to where it says start underscore HTTP. It should now load way faster since we're not downloading anything and all those settings that we already inputted should be saved. The only thing that we're going to change is the audio settings. For output, we're going to put cable IN16CH or whatever the title of your cable is because sometimes they're different and we're going to turn off monitor. This is because we will hear ourselves twice with both output and monitor on and we don't want that for echoing reasons. Now I'm going to load up Discord. I'm going to go to user settings, scroll down to voice and audio, and I'm going to be changing the input device to the mic that I have input as my voice changer, which is Ferg mic. Next, I'll be putting for the output device cable in 16 ch And if you notice, these are the same things I have that are in our voice changer. If you click on start on the voice changer and you go to Discord mic test and click on let's check. When I start talking, I'll sound exactly like Mr. Krabs. And when you start talking, you'll sound like the voice that you connected to your voice change. Anyways, that should be everything. If you have any more questions, leave them in the comments. I'll be happy to reply to you. I hope you found success and enjoyed this video. Also like and subscribing so I can make more videos like this one. I am Ferg and I'll see you in the next one.